Hello, and welcome back to my continued exploration into KSP's Hard Career Mode. This is an edited for YouTube version of a Twitch live stream I did on May 3rd. On the previous day, I had conducted a successful sandbox Duna test mission, but then spectacularly failed on a career mode Minmus mission, mainly because I still didn't have patch conics or maneuver nodes unlocked. This time, I was adamant that I would see the Minmus mission succeed and then move forward on career mode. I'm cutting out all the slow parts for YouTube, so the length of the YouTube videos is around half of the original stream length. I'm retaining as much of the live commentary as possible. Since it was a live stream, the video bitrate is substantially less than what I normally produce for YouTube videos, so apologies for that. Please do stop by on Twitch to participate. My current schedule is Saturday and Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific, that's 8 p.m. GMT, and also Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific, which is 11 p.m. GMT. In any case, I'll post any upcoming stream times in the title of my channel. Now, on to my live commentary on May 3rd. So, we're going to be trying for Mimus again, except this time I, I've got the numbers. Uh, more specifically, I've got the phase angle, which is 115 degrees, by the way, from a 100 kilometer orbit. And really, the, the whole thing with uh, transferring to Mimus, the, the orbit isn't it isn't too sensitive to the orbit so it's fine I am doing fine I'm just uh, hoping that I can get this right this time that is my number one concern because you know we don't have a lot of funds left I mean 167,000 is nice but I would like a lot more buffer than that I'm also a little bit worried about the glitch from last time so we need to make sure that this works out so, this time I'm going to get the... The big problem with last time was the inclination, right? Because we were pretty close to Minmus last time. It was actually the inclination that was at fault for us missing it. Uh, the timing was not too bad on the our first, uh, first way out. After that, of course, it was just horrible. But Alright then, looks like it's uh, launch time for us. So, here we go. Gotta throttle down the main engine for a bit. I'm still trying to come to grips with the new aerodynamics. I've been doing some re-entry testing. It's, it's somewhat inconsistent. So, I'm a little bit worried about how that's going, but... I mean, my data is inconsistent. You know, I, I, I'll take it uh, to the same uh, periapsis and it, it seems very sensitive to its attitude in the, in the um, atmosphere. It's so sensitive that it's very difficult to get consistent results. I should have timed this so that we were at the right time to transfer to Minmus. Uh, you can do that when we were crossing Minmus's orbit, of course, but I guess maybe that's too much. For some reason, it always wants to go in this one direction. Huh. Don't flip over, yeah. Well, yes, I'm trying that part. It's the fact that our inclination is bad. That we're deviating from east. That I don't like. I don't like that we're so far away from east. Probably, but ironically, it's probably about the same as Mimus's orbit. It's about five degrees or so, but we're definitely not helping our situation with Mimus by having this tilt. Okay, the goal of this mission is to head to Minmus and uh, we have a flyby contract and we have a satellite contract. So we're trying to uh, handle both of them. We will uh, put this in orbit around Minmus as a satellite according to the contract. You find things get funky 10 to 12 kilometer mark. I, I find things get funky all over the place actually. <laughs> yeah, so we've got two contracts to fulfill with this. Yeah, some winglets will help control the rocket, but you know what else? Winglets also have a little bit of mass. So I'm trying to see what I can get away with without the winglets. And let's face it, it's still uh, it's still going to orbit. It is not like I am I'm failing at that. I have practice now. Yeah, it's it's my thing to whenever I'm starting out with a new thing, try and test the limits. I mean, yeah, of course you can build a robust thing that will definitely do what you like, but 
but it's nice to see what you can get away with and then uh, once you know what you can get away with then design around that if you just uh, slap winglets all the time you won't know whether you can control it without them winglets can make it harder if uh, if you're deviating away from prograde uh, in general the winglets will keep you closer to prograde uh, you can't really use them to try and recover yourself uh, that's actually very hard okay that's orbit and as I said the calculation isn't particularly sensitive to to uh, our orbital height it's mostly sensitive to where Minmus is so now I said 115 degrees so let me head to that we're definitely not correcting inclination until we've uh, done our boost out main thing is inclination gotta fix that Moon and Minmus are sort of in line right now. Well, there's the moon. Can't really see Minmus anywhere. Maybe it's right behind the moon, but usually I can't see Minmus from here. Oh, shoot. What am I doing? Ah. Oh not looking for Minmus I wasn't paying attention okay it's easier to correct if you're a bit more well I, I went a lot more <laughs> okay we've got a interesting inclination difference right now too much fuel anyway it's true it's true actually for this mission we're 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 off i mean i really need the patch conics and everything for trying to figure out inclination it's really difficult otherwise well let's let's do a piecemeal as as has been said i have too much fuel anyway i'm pretty sure i should watch one of my own tutorial videos to figure this out But we also need to correct its tilt. Oh, that's the end of that stage. Wow, we finished off that stage earlier. That's because of that stupid little overburn that I did. Well, let's hope I can uh, control this properly now. Okay. That's not looking too bad. But I thought I had it right last time too. Hold on, let me. Looks pretty close. All right, let's try this. Up, uh, electric charge. <laughs> Having your rear end at the sun is not going to help. Why do I get the feeling that my phase angle calculation was wrong? No, no, it's catching up. Uh, come on. I hate this. This is so bad. Ah, uh, nuts. Stupid Minmus. Pretty sure there was a tutorial at one point where I actually did this properly. I've got uh, the inclination is is okay this time. It's not great, but it's okay. Uh, the electric charge just went down because we were going on the dark side of the planet. Well, I gotta watch that this time. Okay. Well, looks like. Well, let's see how much it covers. No, no, we're going to land, uh, Cisha. Uh, first, we're going to fulfill the fly, uh, the fly by Minmus contract. Then we're going to position it into uh, satellite, and then we're going to try and land it. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a combo package. We've got that much delta v. 
Burn towards Mimis at closest approach if you have enough delta. Yeah, uh, probably not. Um, because I've got so much I want to do with this. But let's see. Um, it was about at uh, 50 degrees when we were at periapsis. So let me see how much angle it covers. Yeah, I've got sort of a complicated mission in mind. So I think it covered about 130 degrees during one orbit for us. So we need to burn further out if we want to hit it. How much further out? That's a good question. If this fails, I'm gonna do... Yeah, maybe I'll skip the landing altogether. If, uh... I think that's probably a better. Uh... So... But anyway, we'll see. Uh, if... It, it might turn out that we don't have enough Delta V for landing. Uh, this is probably not good enough. It's probably a close but no cigar kind of thing. Yep, uh, well, not really close, actually. Needed to burn even further out. Okay, uh, it's... It's basically coming within that area when we hit periapsis. Let's see how much one orbit does for us. Sorry for taking so much time on this, but this is not easy for me either. I'm not able to have more than two contracts yet, SU-25T. I can only have two contracts. I don't have the funds to do anything. Okay, so we need to burn a little bit further out. Well, hopefully that'll get us uh, closer to 100 degrees, which is what we need. Okay, back to straight up and straight down. Sun, where are you? We need you. Whoa, oh, no, oh, the moon, blast it. <laughs> the moon interfered with our orbit. We can't see patch conics. I think that happened last time too. Okay. We've got a problem. All right, well... Let's pretend I can fix this. Um, actually, that would be very entertaining, I think. Yeah, it's better to do it at this end. I don't want to do it uh, on the end closer to Kerbin. Well, Moon, maybe you can interfere with us again. That'll be very entertaining. I did. Oh, okay. You know what? <laughs> I think I think we should look for a moon contract. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna put this into lunar orbit. We're we're not hitting Minmus with this puppy. I and I don't want to keep it going around. So I'm gonna bring it into lunar orbit. And then we're eventually going to have a moon contract where I can bring this down and do something with it. Okay. We are now in a very accessible lunar orbit. Okay, that can get to all sorts of latitudes that they might want. But let me put this into an orientation that will allow it to catch some suns. Okay. Uh, all right. We still need to do the Minmus thing. I can't get more contracts until I do this. So I'm going to take the advice. I'm going to try and use as much fuel as possible. We will we'll dump the lander legs. We'll, we'll just go for uh, fulfilling the contracts. I'm running out of funds here. Do the lander legs add much mass, actually? 
Where are you? Uh, not really. How much is the admin building upgrade? 75,000? No. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. 300,000. This is hard mode. <laughs> I might want to remind you, this is hard mode. Everything costs more. It's not that easy. Uh, this is 564,000 if we want to upgrade that anymore. 450,000 to get more than 30 parts. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we've, we've, we've got some, uh, some serious stuff to, to try and take care of if we want to get to the funds we need. Yeah, I don't think the lander legs are a huge mass. It's 0 .4, 0 0.045 tons. And I still want to retain some ability to land. Let me just do try it again and uh, try it a little bit more careful this time. Here we go again. I mean, I just can't get a better rocket. It's it got to be a matter of... You know, I, I wonder if we're... We're listening to one side because of the stupid solar panel, aren't we? I wonder, I think it's the drag from the solar panel that's making us head to one side. Uh, okay, we're going to have a roll maneuver right at the start. I think, I think I can do a roll maneuver and we'll see whether that theory is correct. Okay, here we go. Okay, roll program. Not reading comments, need to do a roll program. Okay. We've pitched down a little bit too quickly. But, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Too quickly. Kinda. Because we've pitched down so much, I need to. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on. There's buffeting. There's buffeting. Okay. Uh, well, the theory that the solar panel was at fault seems to be the right theory. That was actually causing drag on one side and causing us to list to that side. But now I'm having the darndest time trying to control this thing. Okay. We are not going to go to space today. Okay, um... Ha! Ha ha ha. Ha. Shall I detach the lander and try and get back? Now, now are you going to talk to me about how Jeb died? Jeez. This <laughs> our gardening accident. Okay. Right, well this isn't going very fast. I don't even know whether I should be trying to get into orbit or trying to get it back home. <laughs> home to get more money back. Well, too late now. Of course, uh, we've got a little communication delay here. Okay, so heat shield map function, yeah. Yeah, I lost a lot of money to hire new pilots. This is true. I didn't pay attention to how much that costs. So that was my bad. I should have just I I should have just gone with Val actually. 
So what I'm trying to do right now is just the flyby. We have uh, we have nixed all the other goals. We are going just for flyby. Yeah, I haven't touched any mod for 1.0. <laughs> Because uh, I know in that way lies madness. Because I'm waiting for Squad to finish, finish updating everything. I mean, come on, what game had 1.0 being the like final version, right? Because you know they're gonna have a patch. You know they're gonna fix stuff. And of course, in this case, the patch was huge. You know, it totally changed the atmosphere, so, yeah. No, 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 I gotta wait on, on the whole mod thing. Just fly by. I gotta focus on that, so I'm willing to use the fuel necessary. If I try and think I'm doing more than a flyby, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, I need to save fuel for it. Well, no, it won't delay new far because all they did was they changed the uh, numbers in the physics config. Uh, Ferrum can easily change those himself. What? It doesn't like to show me my orbit, does it? I can barely see my orbit. Come on. That's a very important thing. Yeah, uh, it, won't, uh, it won't delay Ferrum at all, I'm sure. Okay, so... Let's see, bringing the orbit up. We've got uh, inclination. That we'll need to fix either at periapsis or apoapsis. We can't flatten it out here. Okay. Okay, so let's try the getting real. Okay, hold on. At apoapsis, I'm gonna correct this. Okay, so what I want to do is tilt down now. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, come on, at least show me my orbit, darn it. This thing. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do... Well, we fulfilled that contract, right? We flew, we flew by Mimis and we recovered our funds. Now, can I get into this polar orbit? That is what I want to do next. Flyby complete, yep. Keythane mod, yeah, I haven't seen anything more about Keythane. Kethane, either way. Okay, at long last, we've managed Minmus. At least this time. But if I don't get the tracking station upgrade, I'm going to have continued problems getting this right. Anyway, let's get into orbit with it. Probably shouldn't have done that, but okay. Uh, right around here, I'm gonna change my inclination. How much delta V is left? Uh, some. <laughs> Actually, uh, just out of curiosity, I'm gonna calculate it. Sorry for taking the time, but uh, here we go. We have 907 meters per second of delta V left. So, lots, actually. Okay, so we're going to correct inclination now. Uh, probably should bring my orbit in too, but... We have to be going a particular way. Now we're going around this way, it wants us to be going that way. Okay, so we head south. Okay, yeah, we have to retrograde as well. That actually shows me my ascending and descending node with respect to the orbit. That's sort of interesting because it's not like I have that unlocked. I think that's the best I can do. We're not at the node.
That's looking pretty good. Uh, hold on. Let me see if the contract says... Oh, designated polar orbit. Okay, so just maintain stability. Okay, done. Okay. So now we have to... Let's go to the Space Center and see if we can get a contract to land on Mimus. Well, we're, we're getting a lot of position satellite into particular orbits now. I guess they were impressed by our our uh, talent with that. Okay. So no, we still got the rescue contracts. Uh, we got to plant a flag on Mimus. I don't need to do that. Unfortunately, this one, this position of satellite requires a new satellite so after the contract is accepted so we can't do it there so the best thing we can do with our little probe right now is is bring it down and get the science I want to get the science so I'm gonna try and landing on Minmus and I want to get this probe thing done and I want some science right science is important uh, this will land us on a dark location, so I should go around and try and hit this area, actually. That might be cutting it a little bit tight there. Those highlands there. Okay. How do I like new fairings? I, uh, I, I like procedural fairings better. The benefit to new fairings is, of course, that, uh, you know, you can see inside and I don't have to remove them every time. But they're a little bit buggy. When I remove them, they don't retain their shape and sometimes. And it's somewhat annoying to work with them, at least, but maybe because I'm so used to procedural fairings. Okay, I like that shore there, actually. So, what I figure is, I can land here. I make a brief hop over here, and they should be two separate biomes, right? Maybe even three biomes. Flatlands, slopes, midlands. Yeah. Uh, we'll see how many we can get. So yeah, I've been having trouble working with the new fairings, but maybe it is because I'm used to procedural fairings. So... I miss the round shape of the procedural fairings too. I, I sort of like that. It's more aerodynamically pleasing than a cone. Cones are actually... Uh, they, they, they do have some weird aerodynamic effects along the rings. And so uh, you'll see the nose of uh, fighter planes. They aren't, uh, they aren't perfect cones. They aren't pointy. Uh, they, they, have, they smooth out. You don't want that uh, sort of... And even, you know, uh, like... Uh, SpaceX, you always see them smoothing out the cone. It's not a sharp edge. I don't like sharp edged cones. I'm raking in the viewers now. 20? I had more yesterday, actually. Yeah, yeah, Jazzers, you were right there at the beginning, definitely. But the thing is, I posted the video of my live stream to my YouTube, right? So then people, people knew. I couldn't hide anymore. Okay. So yeah, that's that's when uh, when people were aware. Come on, thermometer. Okay, let's transmit that back. And let's wait. And well, we don't have to wait, but ah, the slopes look quite a bit more foreboding from this angle, don't they? Okay. Hmm. Okay, which side are they? Uh, okay, this way. Uh, no, that way. Right. Uh, well, this version shouldn't be any different from the previous version for the moon landing. It. Uh, I usually reserve about 800 meters per second. But that's because I'm not very good at landings over 9,000. Uh, uh, that's just for the landing part though. So, um, so you need, well, so I, I don't know if you want to add in the launch and, 
transfer. Transfer is about 850. Uh, getting into orbit around the moon is about 250, let's just say. And as far as... As far as launching from Kerbin, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I, I don't know what... I haven't determined exactly what the correct number for launching from Kerbin is because it changed. Uh, 1.0.1 changed how much delta V it is and I haven't uh, nailed that down yet. Okay. Sorry that took so long. Uh, Alright, well let's transmit this too. Google it, jeez. That's no good. Launch from Kerbin is about 3,600. That's what I would have guessed. This should be slopes. I believe it was, right? Yeah. Okay. So now, if we get around here, that should be something better. But I don't know if this probe's got it in it. Let's find out. So, we're engaging in the grand tradition of hopping around on Nimbus. And that's because, uh, in our case, I'm desperate to uh, get stuff unlocked and to uh, retain my funds. But it shows you the resiliency of my design, uh, <laughs> I can say, because we had such a horrible launch. We, we, uh, can you imagine? We, we totally flipped over, like, repeatedly. And somehow we've managed not only to do the flyby, we managed to do the the satellite contract, and we have managed to uh, land it on Minmus at two biomes so far. I don't know whether this is going to be a separate biome. I don't know if we're far enough. We'll see. Take a reading while flying. You, good point. Actually, I should have been doing readings the whole time. We should have done high over Minmus as well. Okay. What a, what a wonderful little lander we had. Okay, so that's the end of it, though. We have done what we came here to do. Let's go back to the Space Center. In fact, I, I dare say the probe surpassed all expectations by completely flipping over during launch and doing all that. That was amazing. We will have to use that probe again sometime, as long as it doesn't randomly escape from the from the system. <laughs>